What's up? I'm going to try to attempt a common fix. Well, a fix to a common problem on this little thing. This is the dash box, as I like to call it. And the problem with mine, and, and I think a lot of other people's, from what I've heard, is it just doesn't pop anymore. The reason for that, well, here's what it's supposed to look like on both sides. It's got a spring that gives you a little bit of push on the back of this lever here once you release this button but on this side as you can see mine little piece completely broke off and so therefore if I put the spring in it'll kind of fall out and not be at the right angle so I'm gonna drill a hole through here and put a bolt through the other side and see if I can't make a little axle pin for that so while holding the phone See if I can do this. Keep this in one take. There we go. Perfect little hole. Now I just need to find some bolt. A little bolt that can go through there with a the nut. Well, I need a nut unless I get the exact right size, which I should have planned ahead. And in that case, I could just thread it in there into the plastic. So I'm going to go into my bag of goodies here um, with all my spare parts and see if I can find a nice 10 millimeter in here. Something like this would do nicely to thread in, but it's not the great, greatest little pin on the other side. Something like this could work. Uh, a little less rusty might be good. So, black version, there's dark green, um, what else we got in here, it's out of the way, I know, I think you love this video, just watching me sift through, let's try this one, see if it's not too long, it's got a washer on here that doesn't want to poke its dirty little head back. So you can actually, oh, let me show you how this works here. Um, when I push this button up here, you'll see this turn, see? And that's what releases it. Now the spring force is what pushes it up. So let me poke this through the hole. And it doesn't quite go through. Oops. So it's actually the perfect size. So I got lucky there. It's just that I'm not so sure about this washer setup and the length of it. Oops. The washer might be poking a little bit above. Let's give it a shot anyways for the sake of the video. Get this thing done. Certainly I could cut the uh, washer off if it didn't fit, but now that I've kind of got it in there at the right angle, let's see if this closes. Yeah, oh, there's plenty of room because there's a gap kind of a gap going there so now I just need well, you know what would have been smarter too if I tested this but looks like it will fit so give me a 10 millimeter a little tool stash here right in the middle of my stuff um, yep that's a 10 put it on here get this thing threaded all the way through one-handed fix here. I'm actually set to trade this dash box to another guy for one with the GPS mount, um, which is kind of cool. So just waiting to meet up with him. And he said he's not really a fix-it type, so I was gonna do this for him. See if I can't get it working better. So let's see here. I actually decided not to uh, screw that all the way through until I get this in. Now my other slight problem is this guy right here. Uh, let's see if we can get the, yeah, see, that's bent back a little. He needs to be forwards, and so I'm thinking of shoving something, something in there in between uh, that would keep that okay. But for now, this goes in this way with the little hook pointing out because it goes in the back side of this. So, maybe a little tricky to get in. 
um, as it stands like that. So, shoot, I'm gonna have to take you offline for a second while I figure that out. Ugh. You can wait right here, enjoying the view of the underside of my dash while I do this. Okay. Ah, uh, see. So he's not too serious about his job here. It's kind of a... There we go. Go. So, got it in now. And you can see there. i um, just got to be careful because if that were to break off, then I'd be in a whole nother situation. But uh, I'm going to screw this in some more so I can go fully through. And then we'll test it out, and then I'll reinforce uh, the lower part I was just talking about. I'm gonna put this as far through as it'll go. And I'm not exactly sure when I clamp this down into the dash if this bolt will be too long, but if so, we can just unscrew it a little bit. So let's try this out and see what it does now. Mm, let's put it here. Let's put it here. Come on, baby. Ready, set. Well, that was not exciting at all. So it's got that. Did I miss something? Let me see here. Oops. I want that to scratch up the inside. Okay, so on the good side here, looking under, it's kind of in that spot. And now what seems to be... Oh, man. I didn't activate the spring, see? It's kind of stuck on that ledge. <laughs> what an interesting problem. Um, so I need to get something in there to pick that out. A little screwdriver. Tends to be a lot of walking back and forth with me on my projects. Wasting time. There we go. Now I popped it in place. There we go. Moment of truth. Come on. Wait, I gotta get a good grip on it. Okay. No! <laughs> How far is it supposed to come up? Please let me know uh, what other people, because it seems to be that, you know, it can push up a little bit, but not a whole lot. And. Is that how much it's supposed to push up? Because it's kind of a maximum how much the spring can go up before it touches. So that may be uh, how much it goes up, I'm not sure. You know? Because see, that spring can only move a quarter inch or so. So it's like, mm, pops up, and then, is it supposed to hold up on its own? This focus is really driving me nuts right now. Uh, it might. I see. Okay. So when you lift it up, in fact, after it pops and then you lift it up, there's little mm, those things. And and this bar here has to be strong enough. See that little mountain it has to climb? Boom. To hold itself up. So even with the fix, I mean, it's not that exciting. There we go. What have we accomplished here? But it's enough that I believe it's back to close to stock condition, but someone please let me know if yours does a better pop than that. 